Hello everybody. Welcome to Crystal Trucking. My name is Blue Aussie. And this is a video about how to reverse a B-double. I will be showing you how to reverse a B-double in this video. Um, hope you guys like the truck. It's um, company colours, Crystal Trucking colours. Um, my Peterbilt, this is my uh, Trucker's MP Peterbilt, not uh, my single player Peterbilt that I have in other episodes, but this is my Trucker's MP Peterbilt um, in flying company colours. Um, today we're at Plaster and Sons. This is a very small yard this is what I normally get our lead truckers and junior lead truckers to reverse as a test so they, they use this they use this yard for uh, reversing for their tests um, we test them for reversing b-doubles so I'm just putting this video here to show ultimately them and anybody else who is interested in knowing how to reverse a B-double. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be getting into the cab view here and I'll start her up. Oh, actually, no, I might start her up in the outside view. What do you think? See, because I'm in single player at the moment, I'm running mods um, just with this truck. When I go into Trucker's MP, I sort of I take the mods out because they don't allow mods and all that sort of stuff. But I've just got an engine mod for this truck. Um, we'll start her up and um, see what's see what she sounds like. Love the sound of how she rocks up here. Um, all right, now we'll, we'll go into the to the inside view. This is what she looks like in the uh, in the cab, just stock standard, pretty much. Um, got the mirrors all the way over there as well. So uh, we'll be using that mirror for reversing, obviously, and that mirror. Um, also, we'll be looking back, so to speak, like this. But our aim is to there's there's a little door that's behind them bricks there. Um, that's what we're going to be backing into. We're going to be using this yard here, obviously to uh, line her up, um, both trailers up, and um, slide her into them doors, so to speak. Now, there's a yellow line that um, that goes alongside the, um, it's sort of like a walkway line, or a keep clear line. Um, I normally, for personal preference, I normally, I normally like to keep my tyres as close to that line as possible, just the guideline, so to speak. So, looks like it might rain here very soon. So what we'll do is we'll, um, oh, I'm in neutral there. That's not good. So what we'll do is we'll just keep her in first. Well, um, I should go in normal, but, uh, so like, come in like a normal person would, not from, oh, am I gonna hit that? Mm, yes, just touched it. Alright, so instead of coming from that way, I should have came from on the road, but that's alright. Swing her nice and wide. We'll keep her uh, up along the side here. And we'll start to bring her in now. Start to bring her in nice and nice and slowly. No rush. See, when people back up, they like to rush. There's no rush to it, it's an art, really. There is, it, it, it's, you've got to literally be willing to sit there and have the patience to do so. If you don't, you'll just keep stuffing it up, you'll lose your patience and, yeah. Um, jump out of the truck with the, with the shits and, you know, wave your arms about like an idiot. Um, so, this is what we're doing here, we're just lining it up so we'll face the door completely... It's all about lining her up, so to speak. We're gonna line it up. Oh, we've hit, we've hit the gutter there. We might just back her up just a little bit. Going up the gutter there, the, that curb there. 
and um, yeah so what we're doing is we just main goal is to line it up nicely with that door so that B trailer at the back there we should be able to see that very shortly there it is that's the back end of us and we'll, we will just bring it up go this way I only got to do this because it's a very very small yard so and then we'll just bring it around so we can set her up for our arch so we need an arch so to speak a kink in the trailers so now we'll just crab forward move it a little bit more to the left all right there's the kink and we've lined that back trailer up for the door so to speak so now we've we've, we've gotten the most important step and also um, step number one um, lining up your trailers before you start backing her up it's the most important thing you gotta you gotta you gotta aim for the hole before you shoot so to speak so that's what we've done and we'll put her in reverse and we'll just start to maneuver it towards that back door now what we'll do is just slowly slowly there's no rush there's never any rush with these things the slower the better the slower the more movement that you'll get as well with your trailers so to speak so we'll just bend her around arch around we got we got a little bit too much room on our on our other side there so we'll just bend her around that's the one bend her around that way swing around patience is a virtue always patience you've got to have your patience you also got to have your wits about you so we'll just oh we might actually go for that we're heading for that pole there which is not good all right so we've got the the b trailer in now we just want to sort of line it up so then that'll be in line with where we're going to be and we just want to start that kink again so that's attempt number one sometimes you can get it first go sometimes you can't sometimes you can get it second go sometimes you've got to crab it in I mean it's 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 an art you know it's never always going to be the same it's going to be different on all aspects every time I mean, everybody has their days everybody has different days one day you'll see the person that can't back up at all get it straight in first go and then other days you'll see people that are professionals failing on every attempt so we're just looking back here we'll go into our mirrors we'll have a little look here see what's going on look back all right we need to swing her around swing her around see what's going on in there plenty of room this side all right we need to stop it there we'll need to come around see what's going on in there all right we'll just get that kink starting again just a small little kink in the trailers so we need just that little bend because you've got to steer you steer you got to steer the B trailer, which is the trailer at the back, with your three tri axles, which we can see right there. Not these axles down here, which are your truck your truck axles. They're not the axles that you steer the back trailer with. The back trailer gets steered with the tri axles, which is in the middle of both the trailers. Yes, we do use this as well. We use these two axles here to swing around each ways well not swing so to speak it's always little movements but just a swing around this uh this a trailer here to adjust where the the triaxles go hopefully this video helps you guys i'm hoping so i've got my fingers crossed practice is practice makes perfect though 
And you'll never, you'll never be, you'll never be a perfectionist until you keep trying. You got to keep practicing. That's the main thing. See, now we're going way in on an angle there. That's not what we need. So we we'll need, to, we'll need to come back out this way. Yeah, we we'll need to come back out this way. Yeah. stop it there just try and try and go see last time I, that last effort I was going on an angle my trailer was was pointing a little bit to the other side where I'm not meant to be aiming for because this is where the yellow line is just there you'll see the yellow line there on the floor and uh, that's that's where I'm aiming for the trailer was going pointing in the opposite direction from where I actually wanted it to go so See how that middle try there just pretty much steered that B trailer f where I wanted it to go, and that was alongside them yellow or that yellow line. It's pretty much how how it's how it's going to be. See, see, I'm steering it. I'm steering it. With the try in the middle, the middle try. Little triaxle. So what I need to do is I need to look where I'm going first. All right, so let's go. Yeah, right. I want to hit that. All right, this is where it comes down to. I've already got it in, obviously, but this is where it comes to. Down to my OCD, and I have to. Being a perfectionist as I am, I have to get it perfect every single go. I have to get them right on that line, so to speak. So the tyres have to be at least touching the line. So all six tyres, that's too much. for sure that's extremely close well look at that look at that how how good is that guys that is pretty much on the ball I mean I might not be on the line so to speak but it's it's millimeters off and and that's pretty perfect in my eyes what I'll do is I'll give her a bit of a pause go into the photo studio and we can have a proper look float around the truck and see what's going on here see see my my uh my front wheel there is over the line but that's that's easy fixed that is you can see that them back wheels there they might be they might be uh gotta fix this blur stuff there we go Might even get the uh, colours going there. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go, I'll go up and I'll go forward. And yeah, so you see, that's pretty good. I mean, it's, it doesn't have to be exactly on the line. That's perfect enough. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how you back a uh, B double trailer, guys. Um. If you like the video, if it has helped you guys, um, please click the like button. Uh, click the subscribe button, that'll help us out a lot. Um, leave a comment below. Uh, if you need any more queries towards backing in B-doubles, quite happy to help. I know this is just a game, but I've, I've, I've actually 
um, got some in real life experience so yeah we'll um see you on the next one guys stay tuned and um yeah stay safe out there